The Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tuku Boratai, has commissioned eight mines resistance ambush protected vehicles, the MRAPs, to end Boko Haram war. Inaugurating the war vehicles at Theatre Command Maimaleri Cantonment Maiduguri, Boratai, who was represented by Theatre Commander Major General Lucia Gwadeni, said the inauguration of ambush vehicles was a drive towards restoring normalcy to the Northeast. So, what you are seeing before you are the product of ingenuity and thinking after outside the box of the theatre commander. These MRAPs you are seeing are the fourth in the series of intercha built mine resistant ambush protected vehicles. All the materials used in building the MRAPs were sourced internally within my degree, except for the glasses that we had to get from Kaduna. The vehicles are resistant to 7.62 at all ranges. That's ammunition fire by AK-47. The vehicles are also resistant to 12.7 anti-aircraft ammunition if it's not armor piercing at 200 meters. The vehicles can maintain an average speed of about 80 kilometers per hour, which is very reasonable. Each of the vehicles can carry a section that is 10 men with all their equipment, ammunition, their weapons, their, everything they use, they will need to use when they are going for operation. Today marks a new vista in homegrown technology innovation for Operation Lafayette Adele in the Nigerian Army and the nation at large. Today's ceremony is significant in the sense that also of our drive to restore normalcy to the Northeast and the need to preserve valuable national resources. Theatre Command has been on research and development efforts since August 2019. The aim of this novel effort is to look inwards to evolve homegrown technologies in military equipment production. It's pertinent to note that this effort has yielded fruits and Theatre Command intends to sustain this. So today, Theatre has produced locally some MRAFs in three variants. They are the Champion, the Invisible, and the Conqueror MRAP variants. The theater has also undertaken the conversion of gun trucks and, theater and tractors to armored gun trucks all terrain. In the same way, fire eaters with armor plating were made to provide local protection for troops while in harbor and in defensive positions. 